Hey guys, welcome to the Listen Up podcast here on the Independence Ghana TV. It's a beautiful day and we bring you another exciting conversation. My name is Jessica Morris and I am your host for this edition. Well, today we're looking at whether it is mandatory for a man to find a woman in a relationship or even marriage. We're going to delve into the conversation, but let's take a break. When we come back, it's going to be fireworks. Stay with us. Welcome back from that quick break. It's still the listener podcast here on the Independence Ghana TV. Well, we'll be starting our conversation shortly. But before that, I'd like you to spend a second, click on the subscribe button if you haven't yet, like this video, and don't forget to share. I have with me here my guest in the person of Amanda Kate and Andy Obamitete. Guys, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. Well, today's topic has been a subject of controversy. It has caused rifts, um, fights, breakups, and even divorce in various relationships and marriages. So I'd like to know your opinion on that. Is it, a, is it mandatory for a man to find his woman in a relationship or a marriage? Amanda, let's hear from you. <laughs> It, it, for me, the question is actually funny because what is love without money? You know, you should take care of me uh -huh. with your money. Like, if you're not taking care of me with your money, where else do you want to go and spend your money? I think the point, you see, memo mo na e mana na mo So if you're not going to, eventually, you are not, after, after you know, sweating to get the money, mm -hmm. you make me enjoy life with you with the money then <laughs> who will spend your money but is he making the money for you alone it is for me and my fa i mean the family we are going to build yeah so he needs to spend on me i see That's from the point. way from the way andy is laughing i think <laughs> he doesn't agree with you one bit andy of course i do not agree with that man i don't know what she said mm. um either in a romantic relationship not being marriage mm -hmm. and marriage itself i do not subscribes the idea that it's mandatory for a man to fund um, a woman fully. Why? Because I don't see anything it's, wrong with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, why, why should this even be a question? Why are we putting a responsibility on a man? It's a relationship. Mm -hmm. You care for your partner. If you care for your partner, you should be able to um, go the extreme for your partner. However, putting, making it, you, you, you are now putting a decree, a rule that as a man, as a boy, you're supposed to take care of the woman. What happens to the woman? What narrative are you pushing? So you're telling me that the woman is supposed to be dependent on the man because after all, school now beko. There's no need for your dad to take you to school. All you know is that at the end you become a housewife because mm -hmm. I would provide for you. Is that the narrative we are pushing? I do not want my daughter to grow up with this mindset. Of course not. The it shouldn't be mandatory. Amanda, relax. Relax. He, he needs not to take care of you. the woman. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I, get, I get you, but Andy, I do not. I'm not I, I have a question the for fact, you. Yeah. Just let me like, I'm not disputing the fact that like a man should not take care of a woman. I'm not saying that the issue I have here is the word mandatory, compulsory. Why should it be so? So, well, so would you be happy? Point. Would you be happy? That's Amanda, hold on. Amanda, Amanda hold on. I'll, I'll come to you. Uh, would you be happy if you are not doing this? You are not financially funding your woman, <laughs> and she's getting the funds from like another <laughs> person. The, the another question, man is doing it. Would you be happy? Very problematic. In the first place, mm. what would prevent you from taking care of your your wife? From a rational point of view, it should mm -hmm. be that you're financially constrained. Mm -hmm. Or the woman has so much expense you cannot take care of. So at that point, your woman cannot appreciate what you are doing, the little you are doing, and think that, of course, it's mandatory for you, so you have to go the extra mile. If you're killing yourself, if you're supposed to get four jobs to ensure that you cater for her every need, her whims and her... Um, I've forgotten. Whims and caprices, I believe. That, that's the, that's the um, phrase. Are you sure you're you are supposed to... Yes, whims and caprices. <laughs> If this, is, if this is the ideology of a woman and this is what we're supposed to feed into our boys and our men who grow up to become our leaders, then this is wrong. You see, you should be, I'm not, I'm, as that. I said, I'm not objecting that you should take care of your woman. No. Mm -hmm. But why should it be mandatory? 
Why should what happens to the woman? The man does not go and block the woman from a tree. See, she I has a life. I don't want you to she Amanda, Amanda, let's let's The narrative this is pushing is that women should not be independent. That and it's wrong. This has That's been the trend saying, since Amanda. time memorial. That and it's wrong. And first of all, in this economy, how can you preach this? In this economy, how can you preach this? So if you are not going to make it mandatory, if you are not going to make it mandatory, then who else should? It's a relationship. It's between a man and a woman. Amanda, it's Amanda, but how... then before you go into a relationship or even marriage, I believe you should also have your own way of funding yourself. Oh, you, are. you have to get a job, start working, even if oh, it's not a family. See, that's thing to provide. Yeah, you. Yeah, you get me so who should that benefit <laughs> meanwhile it's supposed to benefit both parties mm. see as i said i am not against the idea that a man should take care of everything but you see don't tell me that it's no mandatory. mandatory. I it don't want you be. to put it in your in your mind it that it is be. not mandatory. See, this is how we grow up to raise irresponsible and this is to the, say this that is, it is not mandatory. This is the story mandatory. we put no, and you have women who are taking care of your dependent. family, taking care of your You see, you, you should have that mindset say, mm -hmm. it is something I have to do. Yes. So, so that so that we we'll all be on the same end. But, but yeah, if it's I have to do, yes. I see, must not do it I will not hold my husband's neck if he's trying his best mm -hmm. and he doesn't have at a point in Mami, time. But when you put it in the in your mind that once actually, you put the ideology that it's mandatory for a man, it's not mandatory. No, it's not mandatory. It cannot be mindset. mandatory. Making it mandatory, it you are pushing the narrative that the man should take the point of the woman at all costs. So at this what point, is the man point? doesn't so you have for me, then he's telling himself, you, you, you he comes for, what do you mean he comes for you? What do you mean he comes for you? It's an agreement. Relationship is an agreement, That's Amanda. That is a responsible man, and the woman guys, likes values. Guys, guys, so um, there's this article here on my journal line. I remember it sparked a lot of controversy, controversy. Uh, radio platforms, they had a conversation. So this PR practitioner was urging women um, not to enter into marriages if they are not financially independent. <laughs> and according to her, it. people have the mindset so that, that it is the man's responsibility to take care of everyone. And that should not be the case. Amanda? You see, in as much as I will personally not enter into a relationship if I'm not financially stable, okay? Mm -hmm. But then, my husband should not leverage on my financial abilities to be lazy in taking care of me yes despite the fact that i am working you see you should make that like you should take those steps for me to tell you oh i have money so i'll take care of it mm. do you get it? but don't just be idle don't be unconcerned about it just because i, I am financially okay so with what you are that. saying you are mm -hmm. trying to tell me that in a home Mm -hmm. As a family, mm -hmm. there's no need for partners to share responsibilities. When oh, it comes there to is. financial there responsibilities, is. but all of these things comes with communication. Again, don't leverage on what I have because you are the man. You have to. You, you are the head. And as the head, you, you have see, to take care of the everything. Woman, you are you the neck. I, 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 you are the neck of the home. You are the neck saying, of the yeah, relationship. And I also know what are you saying? Certain stereotypes, Amanda. Of course, that the man is the head of the family. Like there have been. Uh, different instances where women are heading homes and they're doing well. Oh, so yeah, with that, that, so like I said, mm. it, it all boils down to communication. Mm. Communication, but there's no communication see, in this. Sure, you are saying that the man who is supposed to do it. To me, Why is that communication? I'm sure that when he, um, the woman met the man, mm -hmm. I'm sure that uh, you see, there's a way you handle some of these things that I even bear with you as a man. But I, I, I don't you want see, you to make I her your you as a man. It is man. not my I, these, these, these phrases, these sentences, yes, of course, you I bear with them as a man. Me. It's yes. a relationship. It's not a one way um, ticket I, to I, heaven. I'm it's a relationship. That. A man and a woman. <laughs> two independent individuals. Mm -hmm. One times one. Not one plus one. You are so, whole. It's not a how how <laughs> situation. I'm Amanda, you have to get what I'm saying. See, it's you can't have all the husbands being downvoting. 
Yeah. You can't have that. Yeah. Look at the economy we are in. You are telling me that it's, it's the man's responsibility. Do you know no, how much it costs to trim a man's hair? Man it shouldn't be problem. mandatory. I have a problem. So with at the what point? No. So if I it isn't mandatory, at what point should a man uh, take up the road? Thank you. So yes. as a man, mm. I I close from work. I'm yeah. heading home, and I think of my wife. Oh, today it would be good if Mrs. has ice cream. Mm. Oh, now my fab boutique being changed. At a day, you are come no shape. You get me? You are encouraged because it's a relationship. You care for your loved one. Mm -hmm. It's a love. So that way it's, it's not a thing. See, see, you see, it's how not a day that it's really money. Head. Of course. Mm. If, if, why wouldn't why wouldn't you provide? You see, the issue is that you're providing for the one you care yeah. about. It shouldn't be a chore. When you make a mandate, it seems like a chore. So, that is supposed so to be. It shouldn't if, be mandatory. If, 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 oh, if I love you, why would I provide for you? If you are coming from work, you will get me ice cream, you will get me this. That one, what is it? What is what? Undi. Ah, no, I mean. It that's is a way of is showing it? affection and love. So, of course, showing that to me. But to make it seem like but to make it seem like I'm out so and if we go showing to a mall, Amanda, I'm coming. We go to a mall and you see this out of $10,000. Now maybe I'm not having the needs. You are a man, you are supposed to provide for me. You are a man, you are supposed to own some money that is. You are a man, you are supposed to provide for me. <laughs> and they are, what we are that is what we are saying. Anyway, because guys, that's the ideology you're saying, are pushing. We are saying that no, I don't that want my daughter to be dependent on a man. My no, daughter hello, will be independent hello, when she wants to fly hello, to Dubai and hello. they have an argument. See, she would fly. Oh, How do you do this? Yeah, she can fly, but she so she should fly. She own 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 she 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 Taking care of taking you. Care of, of course, he's taking care of you, but he's not buying you. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we've said a lot. And it's been an interesting conversation. Amanda thinks it is mandatory for a man yes, it to is. find it a is. wife or girlfriend in a relationship. But Andy doesn't agree with no. him. But I, 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 I think that as a man, you have this ego that's... There's, there are certain traits mm. that are trying to throw me. You have the ego. You want to take it your, manage, your woman. You, if you, you, can you, share, you can share the major part. You, you share your wife and then. And you will be to marry because of money. Because of guys, money. Guys, 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 guys. Unfortunately, this is where we bring the show to an end. It's been the Lesson Our Podcast on the Independence mm. Ghana TV. Well, you heard what they had to say. And I believe you also have something to say. It's not too late. Put it under the comment section and join us for the next conversation another time. My name is Jessica Morris and I was your host for this edition. Bye.